Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 019 underscore DIABM where you see. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This brings the save drawing as dialog box. If you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD, Go and click the down arrow and select the version of that AutoCAD. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007. Rename this file to 00 underscore 020 underscore DIABM and click the save button. Now type join on your keyboard. Press enter. Select this line, this line, this line, this line, this line. Press enter. AutoCAD convert this line into a polyline. Press enter to repeat the join command. Add the select source object or select multiple to join at once prompt. Select this object and press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. As specify offset distance from type 50 millimeter on your keyboard, press enter. Select this line and offset it inside. Select this line and offset it inside. Let's escape to get out of the command. We need a back door from the kitchen. So let's remove one of this window. By selecting this window, hit delete on your keyboard. Select this door. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the copy command. At the specified base point point, zoom in into this area and use the endpoint object snap. Snap into this area. Now move the mouse cursor and snap to the endpoint of this line. Let's escape to get out of the command. Select the door. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the rotate command. At specified base point prompt, zoom in into the end point of this line and snap. Now, at specified rotation angle prompt, go to the status bar and turn on the polar track. Move the mouse cursor and snap into this direction. Click to rotate the door. Now, go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the move command. At the select object prompt, select the door, press enter. At the specified base point prompt, snap into this area and move it into this point now select the door and flip the arrow inside press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab layer panel and select the make current button click this kitchen object to make the kitchen layer the current layer now go to the home tab drop panel and select the line command at specify start point prompt hold down the shift key and right click select mid between two points Snap from this end point and this end point. Move the mouse cursor and snap perpendicular or to the midpoint of this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At specify offset distance point, type 600 millimeter on your keyboard and press enter. Offset this line in this direction and offset it in this direction. Press escape to get out of the command. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. At the select object or select all prompts, press enter. Trim off this line, this line and trim off this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, layer panel and click the down arrow. Select the cabbage layer. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rectangle command. At specify first point prompt, click on this area and move the mouse cursor and click this area. To go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. At specify first point prompt, click on this area, move the mouse cursor, continue to click until you close this figure. To close the figure, when you get to the point, type C on your keyboard and press enter. Press enter to start the polyline command. Start this line from this point, this point, this point, this point. Type U on your keyboard if you select the wrong point. Snap into the end point of this line, this line, this line, this line, and this line. Press enter. Press enter to repeat the polyline command. At specifying first point prompt, start the polyline at the end point of this line. Continue to click. Turn on the oval mode. Click on this point. Temporarily hold down the shift key to temporarily turn off the oval mode and snap to this point. Release the shift key. Hold down the shift key and snap to this point. Release the shift key. Snap to this point snap to this point. Press escape to get out of the command. Press enter to repeat the command again. Start the command from this point, this point, 
and move the mouse cursor. Use the object, the perpendicular object snap and snap to this point. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. At the select object point, type 150 millimeter. Press enter. Offset this line up, this arc up, and offset this line up. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. At the select object point, pick this line. Press enter and trim off this arc. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the fillet command. At the select, at the select first object form, select this poly line and select this. The arc and the line is not perfectly intersect. Now go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. Select both lines. Press enter. Trim off this line. Press escape. Type join on your keyboard. Press enter. Select this line and the polyline. Press enter. Select this line. Hover the mouse cursor and select add vertex. Snap on this area. Select this clip and move it into this direction. Snap to this corner. Select this clip and snap into this corner. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the specified offset distance from size 600 on your keyboard. Press enter. Select this object and offset it to this direction. Press escape. Select the line and move it to layer 0. Press escape to get out of the command. Alright, we draw this polyline to as a guide for our arch. This way, when we place the arch, the arch will not go into beyond the point that we don't want it to go. So now that we have the polylines as a guide, in the next tutorial, we're going to start to draw arch. If you find this tutorial useful, click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue on this series or any other tutorial on my channel, please click the sub subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.